Hey everybody, Kyle and the Keystone Girl here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Jeez, what are you in a hurry? <laughs> I'm ready to go. We had to switch scenes. I'm ready to meet Luke Bryan. All right, today we're doing something a little bit different. It should be fun. It's gonna be like a little bit of a vacation for the Keystone Girl and I, but at the same time, there's gonna be some work involved. Now, most of you know that I have a CNC plasma table and I use this to cut steel, believe it or not. No way. Now with a plasma table, you can only cut so much detail with it because it has a fairly decent kerf width, which is the amount of... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> kerf width? <laughs> I didn't say girth. No, oh, I know, I just sounded... Kerf. Curve? Kerf. Kerf. K-E-R-F. If you're interested in girth, then... I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the kerf width is the amount of material that is taken out of the original piece as you make a cut. So like if you're using a circular saw and you cut a piece of plywood, there's like that eighth inch of material that's gone where the actual blade makes the cut. That is the kerf width in case you didn't know. So you're limited on how much detail that you can get out of a plasma machine. Ideally, a laser is the way to go because the kerf width is almost nothing. Now we're talking about this thing? The, the air purifier? <laughs> I don't know what all this crap is. What else do we Why have here? This, I didn't know, like, what else do we work with here on the channel? X-Tool. X-Tool. Now, X-Tool has came out with a new machine. Machine. No, get up real close. What? Get up real close and just give it a little machine. <laughs> I gotta get really up there. Yeah, like, machine. It is a fiber laser that cuts steel. Almost up to quarter inch mild steel. I wanna say it's like 0.2 is the max. Some eyes are loud out here, aren't they? Yeah. So for X-Tool to come out with a machine that actually cuts steel is pretty huge. We're gonna go out to Nashville, Tennessee today and tomorrow to a demo room and we're gonna check out this new machine. We're gonna test it out, get our reactions. Anyways, we're gonna get on the road and head to Nashville. All right, we have arrived. Keystone girl, she's already checking stuff out. She's gonna steal a hat. <laughs> Campbell was mine. Got a nice little display set up. So X-Tool is working with someone locally here. They have a building and they just kind of set up all their stuff in here temporarily with the new machine. You can see it over there in the corner. Check out some of the stuff that they've cut with this new machine. This is stainless steel and it is at least eighth inch material. You've got some really fine detail on these things. This is like 18 gauge stainless. Pretty cool chair right here. This is uh, right where your butt goes, right there. What's so funny about that? And then uh, we got some other channels here and some camera equipment already set up. They're doing some filming, but there is the machine. So we've got the wire feed machine. This is the actual cutter machine. And we got Chad from Chad's Custom Creations. Chad's Custom Creations. Check this thing out. <laughs> we got some stainless steel in here. They've been doing some practice cuts. They're still trying to figure out all the settings on this thing. So we're gonna do a little bit more work on this and then we'll check back here in a little bit.
All right, I am back here in the shop. We actually got back probably almost two weeks ago. The Keystone girl and I had a really good time in Nashville. We had never been there before, so it was cool getting to do a little bit of exploring over there. The X-Tool demo room was about an hour south of Nashville. And this is the first time that X-Tool has done a demo room. I do think it was a good idea. This is a pretty expensive machine, so I could totally understand why they're not sending these things out to all these different influencers like they do with a lot of their other X-Tool laser engravers. And this gave us the opportunity to all go to that one place and test this thing out. So before we dig into all the details, I did some cuts here on my CNC plasma table the other day, just so we could put it in perspective to what this new metal fab CNC fiber cutting machine can actually do. So these are some cuts that I made when I was building the ultimate welding cart. And you can see right here, the kerf width is roughly, probably 3 16ths of an inch. And then you can see right here, this is a piece of stainless that we cut on the new metal fab CNC fiber table or fiber machine, whatever you want to call it. And you can see the kerf width on that is almost non-existent. It is like the thickness of a human hair. Now I'm talking like a hair on your head, not a pubic hair. Those are a little bit thicker. Now right here, you can see the Spicer Designs sign. This is cut out of 14 gauge mild steel. And I cut that on my CNC plasma table. That right there is about two foot wide. That is as small as I can really go with a design like that. If I went any smaller, the plasma table just doesn't want to cut it. That detail gets too small. No bueno. This is a piece of like 18 gauge stainless that was cut on the metal fab. And you can see this thing's pretty small. This is just shy of seven inches. And you can clearly see the detail, pretty unreal. And there is almost no dross. And I have a direct example I can give you on a project I did a while back. Where are you? Ah, there you are. This was something I did for a Chicago detective. He was retired and they have a, a certain logo and the detail was so small, I could not cut it on my plasma table. So this is 14 gauge mild steel and I had to sub this out to a fiber laser cutter. It's a pretty large fiber laser cutter, something that I could never dream of affording. It's probably a million dollar machine, but you can see here the detail in this thing, way too small of detail for my CNC plasma cutter. Hopefully that puts it all in perspective for you, just the actual difference between a plasma cutter and a fiber laser, night and day. Now the way X-Tool has this set up is pretty unique. It's kind of like a two-in-one combo. You have the actual fiber laser unit. It's kind of the brains of the whole operation. Everything kind of connects and talks to each other, but you have a cable that comes off of the main fiber laser unit and you can actually bring it into the CNC enclosure, which has like a 24 inch by 24 inch cutting surface or cutting bed. You would then attach that laser head inside of the CNC enclosure. You can make all of your cuts. Then you can detach that laser head, pull it out, put a different tip on it and laser weld with the exact same machine. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get a whole lot of time to experiment with the machine. It was a bit chaotic. We were there on the very first day in the very first slot. It was myself, the Keystone girl, Chad from Chad's Custom Creations. I had never seen his channel before, but man, what a great guy. I really enjoyed talking to him. I actually went back and checked out his channel. He has a really nice variety on his channel too. Lots of DIY stuff, lots of great information. I highly recommend checking out his channel. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. Either way, the, the shop that we were located at was someone else's and X-Tool had the demo room there. So they were kind of hosting the demo room. They had already gotten familiar with the machine. The guy that was most familiar with it, he ended up getting sick. So we were kind of running blind that first day. And because of that, I didn't get as much time as I would have liked with the laser cutter or the laser welder, but we did get to do some testing. Now they already had some projects that they had worked on before. These were projects that they had shipped over from China, I'm guessing. Really cool stuff. I'm not sure who did them, but they had them all on display right here in the X-Tool setup. Now, Chad and I were both able to test out the laser welder. That thing was pretty impressive. We welded some 18 gauge stainless steel. It was a very different process to what I'm used to welding with a MIG welder or a TIG welder, which I suck at. You basically just press that gun right into the corner against the steel and you have to actually hold pressure against it because as the wire pushes out and the welding starts happening, it almost wants to push you away from the material. So you have to hold it in there. And while doing that, the wire will actually push you along that weld at its own speed. And it makes for a very nice, clean, consistent weld. 
And Chad and I both took those pieces that we welded, put them on the ground, we stomped on them, and the welds would not break. The 18 gauge stainless steel actually bent over before it disturbed those welds. Now, laser welding is definitely not something that I'm familiar with. I think I would find a lot of uses for it here in the shop, especially with the standoffs and some of the lighter gauge material that I work with. Having less heat on the material, but still having good penetration for a good strong weld would be ideal. That way it's not distorting the metal when I have to do paint jobs and all that other happy crap. Now, I don't know all of the specific details on this machine. Xtool has released information on it, so you can go to their website, which I will leave links for that all down in the description. If you were to get in on that now, you could get it at a discounted price. This is a very nice machine. For what this thing can do between laser welding and the fiber laser cutting, this could be a machine, machine, that really takes your shop to the next level and allows you to do projects that you could never do before. For example, two little projects here. One of them, I made some 18 gauge stainless steel dog tags, I guess, to go on the dog collar. I actually had a customer request. He said, all these dog tags that I'm buying, they keep falling apart and breaking. Like, can you build me something a little bit more beefy? So the thought was, I would cut these out of 18 gauge stainless steel, pretty beefy stuff. Then I would use the X-Tool F1 Ultra, the fiber laser. I could go ahead and quickly engrave all of the information that he wants out there for his dog, his dog's name, his address, where he likes to be tickled, all that right here on this dog tag. This is something that I could not have done before. You know, that pet market, it's freaking booming. I made these nice, small, clean, sleek, stainless steel garden markers, even though I spelled tomatoes wrong and potatoes, because I guess I'm an idiot. Never did well in English. I got onions right though. You could sell the shit out of these things. Put a little stainless rod on there. You can use the laser welder, tack it on. This is an item that you could just have sitting on the shelf in stock stainless steel, stick these in your garden, and they will last forever until the apocalypse happens. So here's what I do know about this machine. Looks like they give you a couple different options that you can buy. You can buy just the laser welder, or you can buy the laser welder with the CNC enclosure all as one big combo. And with that, it looks like it comes with a little air compressor, a little air dryer, then you get your wire feed machine for your laser welding. And with that wire feed machine, it looks as if you can use any standard welding wire that you would typically use with your MIG welder. Don't quote me on that. I would definitely verify that on Xtool's website. Again, that was something that we weren't able to dig into a whole bunch when we were there. And then it comes with the CNC enclosure, if you decide to get that option, and the actual brain, the CNC fiber laser. It has like a real nice touch screen on there so you can kind of navigate through some of the settings. Very cool setup. The other cool thing is if you have to get this thing into a tight spot, the way that they ship it, it actually kind of collapses on itself. It has like two scissor jacks where you build the base of it and then you jack this thing up to the height that it's at. You put all the panels on it. So getting it into tight spaces or through a man door, they kind of have that covered. All right, so here is some pricing. You can get the 800 watt welder, five grand, and then there's some other referral stuff here. The 800 watt welder and cutter, looks like that is $12,000, 1200 watt version of the welder, seven grand, and 1200 watt welder and cutter, $14,000. Honestly, that is not bad for a fiber laser. So when we were at the demo room, they actually asked us what we thought the price was gonna be because they had not released it at that time. I guessed, $20,000 and it looks like MSRP is 18,000. So again, I don't know if these are like Kickstarter or early bird kind of specials here. The price is going to go up. I don't know. My first initial thought was that this fiber laser cutter was going to just be cutting very thin gauge steel. It actually does pretty thick steel for what it is. It'll do up to 10 millimeter mild steel. It's roughly just under a quarter inch, but honestly, most of the time I'm working with 14 to 12 gauge anyway. It does have the option to pass through material if you have a larger piece of material that you need to cut on. Maybe it's like a nice wide sign that has a lot of detail. You could do it with this. Now, if you want to see more info on this machine, machine. for one, I'll have links down in the description, of course, but there is a channel that I subscribe to called Making Stuff. He's got a pretty large channel, 138,000 subs. He also went to the demo room for Xtool to check out this new machine. He was not there on the first day like myself and Chad. He got a little bit more time to spend with the machine after they got it all dialed in and figured out. So he was able to put together a really good video and had a lot more information on all those specs, the details. He did a lot more tests than we were able to do. So I will leave a 
a link for that video down in the description as well if you want more hands-on video footage, whatever. The only piece of information that I really wanted to get so I could provide to you was what requirements does this machine need to be able to use it in your home or garage or wherever you're at, your shop. It sounds like you would need a 30 amp 240 volt feed along with some other 120 volt outlets for some of the other accessories like the air compressor and the air dryer, probably the wire feed machine. I believe the CNC enclosure itself has a 120 volt feed. It looks like the actual fiber laser machine itself is what needs the 30 amp 240 volt feed. The other thing that you would need is a gas bottle. So when I was there, they were running, I believe nitrogen and maybe argon, depending on what different materials you were using. I wanna say the one tank was straight nitrogen. Now I know that you can use the air compressor on certain materials. That was one thing that was still in question when we were there and I, don't, I just don't have a lot of answers on that at the moment. But in some cases, the air compressor may work fine, but just to be safe, running it with like a bottle of nitrogen where you're getting clean, dry gas flow, that's probably ideal. And it doesn't seem like it consumes a lot of gas while you're using it. Anyways, sorry I don't have more information on this new Metal Fab machine from Xtool. It is definitely worth checking out. The price is right. Lots of money to be made there. Hopefully I have more information for you soon. I might even be able to get one of those things in the shop here. I don't know when, but if you wanna stick around and find out, just hit that subscribe button. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And it's just pop up after pop up after pop up. Damn it! I think there's a lot of uses that I could have. Son of a We do some of those little mystery games sometimes. It always ends up being kind of a free-for-all. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I can see you. I know.